What's up guys, this is Andung and I sure hope you came here hungry because in this video I'm going to introduce you to some of my favorite things and places to eat in my hometown of Berlin, Germany. I think I picked pretty much the worst possible day for this, but that's okay. As a Berliner, I sure know how to handle bad weather. First things first though, let's start with one of my favorite types of Berlin breakfast. Follow me. I do love this place, but it's a little bit noisy, so we have I'm like literally the only person who's eating outside today. What a fool. Bad weather is not gonna stop me. So this is absolutely one of the best ways to start the day for me. But before I introduce all of this deliciousness to you, let me mention one thing. This video is sponsored by Deutschland.de, which is a website produced in partnership with the Foreign Office of Germany. And what they do is they teach people about German society, culture, politics, everything. For the past week, their special topic of interest was Berlin, my hometown. So they reached out and asked me if I could introduce you guys to some of Berlin's finest food, which is what I'm doing. So what you guys can see here is actually one of Turkey's most popular breakfast items. But since the 1960s, a lot of Turkish migrants have been coming to Germany. By now, they're just part of life in Germany. They're part of life in Berlin for sure. And they have brought delicious food. New York City might have the bagel, but Berlin has the Turkish simit. So these simit are freshly baked every morning. In fact, pretty much around the clock from what it seems like. They're super crispy. Mmm, super fresh. It's light, slightly sweet, a little bit salty, and slightly nutty from the sesame seeds. And of course, they come with freshly brewed Turkish tea. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Normally, I just drink my tea plain, but this type of tea, you just have to add some sugar. That's the way you roll. Men and men. Oh God, it's so good. Menemen is basically the Turkish cousin of scrambled eggs. Except this one is full of tomato and peppers. It's a little bit spicy, but if you like that kind of stuff, it's gonna be a perfect breakfast option for you. Let me try a bite of the super tomato egg. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very fresh, very tender. Tuchuk. Tuchuk is a little bit similar to salami, but of course being a Turkish dish, it is made with beef rather than pork. It's really garlicky. Let me give it a try. Mm-hmm. That's my dose of garlic in the morning. So we've just learned how in the 1960s, migrants from Turkey came to Germany and brought some of their delicious food with them. Let me add one thing. I was talking, of course, about Western Germany. Germany used to be a divided country and the government of former Eastern Germany invited workers not from Turkey, but from the socialist brother nation of Vietnam. After the Berlin Wall fell in 1990, a lot of these Vietnamese workers went back to Vietnam, but a lot of them also stayed behind which is the reason why we have this amazing, thriving Vietnamese community in Berlin and also the reason why we have so much Vietnamese food. And one of the best places to get it must be right here. I really love this place. It feels like you're experiencing a little bit of Vietnam right in the middle of Berlin. People come here for shopping, for haircuts, for Asian ingredients. And of course, for the food. I'm getting really hungry and on a day like this, I know exactly what to eat. So let's see what we got. First, I'm gonna try the Hanoi style spring roll. I'm seeing a meat and vegetable filling in a crispy rice paper wrapper, deep fried of course, served with some sweet chili sauce, it looks like, let me try. Wow, wow. This is even better than I thought. The filling is really well balanced. It's not too salty, it's not too anything. You can taste a lot of fresh herbs inside. The meat is good quality. This is how a spring roll is supposed to be. Mm. Check this out. Right, right, right. Let me take another bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now let's move to the star of this meal, the pho. <laughs> Wow, this is topped with all the good stuff, with the fresh herbs, the fresh onion. So for my first spoon, let me get a little bit of everything. 
Nice. What a deep and beefy aroma. Mm. Wow. You guys, Berlin has a lot of good Vietnamese food, but this type of quality, I'm not sure if you can get it outside of this place. Mm. And now, with my favorite sriracha sauce. Oh, oh, there's no such thing as too much sriracha. The bite of my dreams. <laughs> you wanna try some? So much flavor, so much going on. Try some of this, bro. It's good, right? It's good. I'm so glad we came here. This food does not disappoint. Mm. So you might have been wondering, wait, this is a video about Berlin food. Where is the Döner Kebab? Where is the Currywurst? Well, I already have videos about them. I thought I'd introduce something a little bit more low-key, a little less common to you guys. But then we ended up right here, Gesundbrunn Station. And this is where one of my favorite Currywurst places in all of Berlin is, Currybaude. Let's go. Eine Curry mit Damenbrötchen, bitte. Mit Brötchen. <laughs> Eine Curry im Darm mit Brötchen. Danke. You guys, this is the classic Berlin Currywurst at Currybaude, which must be one of the best places to do it. It's super affordable. You can get this for 165 only with a fresh little bun. Let me just shut up and try a piece. No. No, this is it. This is the classic Berlin flavor. Don't be fooled. This is not ketchup. This is a special currywurst sauce and each place has its own. And the acidity of the sauce is just what you need to cut through the rich sausage. Check this out. Big bites, guys. Mm. Little bite of bread for balance. Mm. Heaven, all you need. AP, you want to try? Super clam. What do you say? Ooh, this doesn't taste like ketchup. No, it's not. No. It just has a little bit of the curry note that you want in a curry sausage. You ready to move on? Let's go. Next station. Come. Now you might have noticed that except for the currywurst just now, most of the food I'm introducing in this video has some sort of international influence. And there's a reason for that. I think it's safe to say that Berlin is Germany's most international-minded city, and that definitely shows in the food scene. A lot of the people, including me, have some sort of bicultural, multicultural background, and even though they might have grown up here in Berlin, they always add a little bit of their own story into the mix. And I'm not just talking, I have a friend who does just that. Let me introduce you to him. If you guys remember my currywurst video, you might remember my friend Jung Han, who is hiding in his own kitchen this time. Hey. What's up? <laughs> oh man. So hello everybody, say hi to my buddy Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, this is ja dein Laden hier. So ein Kitchen. <laughs> Erzähl uns mal ein bisschen, was ihr macht. Schön euch kennenzulernen, alle. Groß geworden sind wir hier in Berlin, alle direkt aus diesem, in diesem Kiez. Wir machen hier koreanisch, äh, arabisch, amerikanische Fusion Kitchen. Also so richtig, so richtiges Berliner Programm, alles zusammengemischt. Ja, alles zusammengemischt. So alles, was man hier findet in, äh, an Kultur, das findet ihr auch bei uns in der Küche. Was? Mit einem koreanischen Twist natürlich. Ja. Woher kommt der koreanische Twist? Von unseren Eltern, also <lacht> von unseren Müttern. Ja, weil die Mamas kochen sowieso immer am besten, oder? Ja, ja. Ich bin ganz schön hungrig geworden. Was kannst du mir empfehlen zu essen? Oh. Geil, danke. Okay, I can't wait to finally eat this stuff because it looks amazing. So this right here, my friends, is the kimchi taco. I ordered one with tofu, so we have a little bit of a vegetarian option in this video. This is in fact a fresh out of the oven, baked in Berlin pita bread. And then it's stuffed with kimchi, salad, a Middle Eastern inspired sauce, and of course, spicy tofu, which was fried in the kimchi brine. Enough with the talking, let's try this. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Zhang Han, die Soße ist so nice. Alter, this is amazing. There's so much stuff, just the right amount of heat, just the right amount of flavor, and a little bit of that funky note from the kimchi. Yes, well, mmm. But while I can still eat, let me try the kimchi zilla fries with beef. There is so much 
on top of these fries that I have to like really work hard to find my fries. Work hard, eat hard. That's my life uh, motto. Mmm. Mmm. The fries are crunchy and perfect. The toppings are rich. <laughs> Rich. I'm trying to find the right word here. Decadent. Just so rich and decadent, that's exactly what it is. I mean, look at this. Mm. Happy? You wanna try? This is the fresh one, and this is the greasy, nasty, amazing one. And together, they are the perfect combination. Wir gehen einfach mal in die Küche, weil ich muss etwas vorbereiten für die Marktelle 9. Seid gespannt, let's do it! Heute ist der Street Food Thursday da, jeden Donnerstag, 17 bis 22 Uhr. Und äh, wir sind schon seit drei Jahren dort ein paar von, machen das jede Woche da. Nimmst du uns mit? Ja klar, gerne. Können wir yeah. machen. Honestly, you guys, this place might be a tiny little bit touristy, but it's still food heaven. No matter if you're an omnivore like me and you like some good meat, you will find the best, highest quality meat. And if you're a vegetarian, you will find some really creative and inspiring dishes to taste here as well. And what I have here is a smoked short rib sandwich. These guys are not fooling around. I saw him prepare the sandwich. That meat looked like it was about to fall apart the moment he put it on his cutting board. I can't wait to dig in and try this amazing short rib burger. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you once again, Deutschland.de, for sponsoring this video, for letting me introduce Berlin's food culture to you guys. Their website is full of interesting content about Berlin and about Germany. It's available in eight languages, so make sure you go check that one out. Okay, but now, it's time to dig in. The moment of truth. <laughs> wow. Mm. One of the most tender bites of meat I have ever had in my entire life. Mm. Such a rich, slightly smoky aroma, perfectly rounded off with that sweet and slightly tangy barbecue sauce. Mm. The absolute juiciest meat you can imagine. <laughs> Maybe you want to try it? Oh. You know what? I think you guys should come to Berlin and try what this city has to offer in terms of food because I promise you will not be disappointed. See you guys in the next video. This video was brought to you by Undong's epic Patreon supporters. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell for weekly food inspiration from all over the world.